<laughs> and thank you everyone for coming back and joining us. Yeah, we appreciate you. Threateningly, <laughs> we're back. We're back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who's watched that movie recently? I haven't. The Poltergeist? Yeah, no, I haven't seen it forever. forever. I went down an old movie rabbit hole, of course. <laughs> and it was around Halloween because I I was watching a Freddy Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> like <laughs> I watched, but I still didn't watch. I cannot watch uh, Amityville one. The one that's like oh. in Texas. Texas Chainsaw Massacre or whatever. It is. Yeah, no, I'm good. Oh, now, do you live do you live near there i don't know where that was no, where that all happened in texas i don't think so i don't think so i know it's somewhere in texas but i'm just gonna say i don't think so so i can see texas is kind of big so it is very it's big like, it's like they could tell me a city and i'm like that means nothing to me oh i've been here all 50 years of my life and then somebody will name a city i'm like where what's it close to <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know all the cities in Washington. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know all the cities in Western Washington, let alone Eastern Washington. It's like, I don't know it. all the cities in my county. So mm. true. <laughs> oh, well, no, I, I know my county because I was a realtor. So I knew I know that. I but. know. <laughs> oh, the only way I know is if I say there's a sale somewhere and then I have to go on, you know, GPS or whatever, figure out where it is. And then you find out it's like three blocks over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, dang it. Like, dang it. No, what's, really, what's really fun, though, and, and this happened to me not too long ago. I went to an estate sale and, you know, you tell Google Maps, yeah, find the, you know, the quickest route, you know, because it's like, I know I can go this way and this way. But, you know, Google Maps was like, oh, you can save 10 minutes and avoid all that traffic on that road, you know, you don't like. And I'm like, cool, let's do this. And I'm like, I have lived here my whole life and I have never been on this road. <laughs> I have. And it's like, I've been from here to there. I've been from here to here and here to here. But this crazy road I'm on now, I have never seen in my entire life. It was such a freaky trip. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I will add that to my list, Poppy. Love and death. Let me look at it. Let me look it up. Let me give you <laughs> Oh, but thank you all so much for joining us. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for popping in. Hi, hi, Poppy. <laughs> hi, Angela. Hello, DM. Hello, Pamela. And hi, like Mike. Hi, Mike. I probably Ooh. like that one, Poppy. I'm definitely going to add that. What is Love and Death? It's a mini series. Oh. Um, hi, Denise. Crime drama. Oh, it's based on a true story. I will love it. I'm nosy. I am Whoa. nosy. I want to know all the true stories. Like, Is that a true it, story in Texas? I don't know. If it's based on real life, I'm watching it. <laughs> I oh, think did, there's did, something did, wrong with most of us did, women did. because we will watch like, you know, the Christmas movies on the Hallmark, the Hallmark. channel, blah, blah, Ooh, yeah. blah. And then we'll turn around and watch a serial killer show. Like, <laughs> no problem whatsoever. <laughs> You're saying there's something wrong with that? <laughs> Not at all. Look at that. They're baking cookies. You know? Oh, my gosh. He stuffed her in a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> They're opening up a bakery. <laughs> <laughs> he pushed her down the stairs. Oh no! <laughs> oh, we can mix and match them. <laughs> what is name? Donnie Wahlberg. He he had a show. It, it may still be oh, on. I don't know. I haven't watched. That it. was a scary show. It was, and I was watching it because I, uh, uh, I think I watched uh, like two seasons of it. I don't know how many it had. I, 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 I think I watched. Know. I think I watched that, but then it was like, ooh, this is scary. <laughs> I think it's called Scary People, too, wasn't it? I think it is. I think <laughs> it is called Scary People. Only they were. The they they were scary people. Well, who was it? DM. I think it was DM. Um, uh, hooked me up 
with this YouTube channel. What's his name? Mike, Mike something. He's a uh, Irish guy. It's Parson. He's right there. <laughs> He's in the chat. <laughs> I know I want to watch Blue Bloods too, but I watch that. He's right there. He's right there. Oh, what is the name? Right at him too. (laughs) Who is that? One more. Not you. Somebody. Somebody. Oh gosh, I can't remember who it was now. But he takes. He does like you know they're like fifteen minutes or so, and he does a couple a week, where um, where he takes these are like real people like just like real people, not like, not like sensational news people or something, but you know, the guy who worked at the pizza place and this is the crime he committed. And it's, it blows me away. I'll, I'll find, I'll find, I'll find that channel. It's, it's really good. And he does a really good job with it. And his accent's really fun too. Oh, is that the same is that the same dude that did the, did the ones like, um, oh, um, like like he he does he do videos where they take you back to like 18th century and tell you about what life was like then? No, okay, okay. No, oh, this is all pretty recent stuff. Um, but it's all um, true crime stuff. Um, what is his name? Oh, that chapter. That chapter. That chapter. Tell him Trisha sent you. Is his um is is his channel. But yeah, he's just, you know, and he's got like the he'll do the he'll include like the news footage, the um, you know, anything that was released during the trial that's you know public. You know, like um, interviews they do with everybody, and um, and yeah, and he does such a good job. But it's amazing; these are just like regular people, but they commit like horrible crimes. And I can't watch; I can't watch a lot of it um, because it it just gets really creepy. And it's like you start looking at your neighbors. <laughs> For a while <laughs> you're like where where are you going so late at night <laughs> i know he is cute he's got some blue eyes he is. He's, he is he's a cute guy he's got a great accent and um but yeah the way he puts the stories together very very well done um but yeah he does i think like two a week and it's like how do you keep finding two a week how is it possible well, i don't think there's any lack you of keep time finding these people and you can find two a week there's not a lack lack of crime in the u.s oh right my now. God. <laughs> he does say turd all the time third he can't say he doesn't say third he says turd turd uh, <laughs> poppy i watched that one apples never fall that was a good one I watched that one. Yeah, because Sue suggested it. I just got done with Night Books, which is a it's a kid's book that they turned into a movie. It's on Netflix, but it's a scary movie for kids. And Sam Raimi produced it. He didn't direct it, but he produced it. But you can tell all of the like signature Sam Raimi shots that are in it. It's, it's really good. It's really well done. Hi, Sarah Lee. And hello I, everybody. I, I, if, if I've been talking I too love much. All the true crime stuff where they like take you in when they're doing like the interrogation and stuff, you know, and they're like talking to them. I'm just like, this is awesome. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe Damn i can dumb. get some pointers on how to do this better than what you did so right <laughs> doug that's a good one you do you just think of these hello cynthia the <laughs> hi uh, doug hi cynthia good to see you oh my gosh i, I appreciate doug's twisted mind i really well, I do know. Like, I wish I was that creative and smart. Hi, Kim. He could have some good Mike, ones. there is nothing That's wrong with Downton you, Abbey. Good for I you. I love that. Downton Abbey, absolutely. So good. Love it. 
Down so Abbey, good. Bridgerton. It's like those are those are kind of go tos when it's like yeah. you can't quite figure out what to watch. It's like, oh, I'll just turn that on. That'll be good. Yep. <laughs> Laura. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But it is so awesome having everybody here. This is part two of the Wednesday sale. We started off on Jen's channel this morning. If you missed it, hey, head on over to Jen's channel and watch. We still had some items that were available. Who knows? It just might be that one item you can't live without. Didn't even know you needed it, but then you saw it. You had to have it. <laughs> Guarantee. Yes. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> oh, but we do this every Wednesday. We do two sales. And Gina, uh-oh, Doug sent you an extra special gift today. Oh, my. I Doug, does it have special. holes in the box so that it can breathe? Just tell me that much. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Do I need to open it holding a weapon? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, well, that'll be fun. <laughs> I mean, You'll have to let us have, know what that is. I have Doug to do a live unboxing on that one. <laughs> no Doug holes to, needed. Okay. Oh, good, Doug good. Likes to keep good. On our toes. All right. Good to know. Um, but um, yeah, so we, we have a different guest each week and we are so happy to have Gina with us today. And oh, well, he already suffocated it. It's in a poly bag. So it's, yeah, no, no air. <laughs> it's, it's a done deal then. Hi, I love you. Yeah, and you know, it's getting kind of hot here again, so it's probably not going to smell the greatest in the world by the time it gets to me. Just say, Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, open open the poly bag and then let it air out outside. <laughs> probably a good idea. Maybe, but maybe he sent you a big pin. There you go. Is it a pack of big pins, Doug? Is it a pack of big pins? Please Great. tell me. Please tell me it is. I just found $200 of cotton slash linen designer fabric with price tag and fabric content tag still available for $2. Ooh, store. Nice. Not a micro store. <laughs> Mine would have been like $159. No, $199.98. Not a box of pick pens. Darn it. Yeah, if it was worth 200 mine would be like $483. Exactly. 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 Adjusted for inflation. <laughs> oh, man. Gator is still in the backyard. Oh, Linda, uh-uh. Just, no. no. Just move. No. Just move. Nope. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the picture of oh, no, the gator. I I showed I'm like, Trisha nope. and Gina the picture. Nope. I was like, why does she live here? Why does she live there? I mean, it's beautiful, but you got gators. <laughs> I swear it's 400 feet. That's why I told her, too. I said, I hope it waddle back in the water. I swear it looked 400 feet long. No. You, like, you can, do you, can you do anything they, to get them to move? They don't waddle. They don't what waddle. Do they they do? run. Gators are fast, y'all. You didn't they realize that? Fast. They're very yeah. fast. When they're hungry, they're really fast. Very fast. You've seen now those lazy gators you, in the zoo. Then they'll slow down. You've been seeing those in the zoo that have been fed like whole chickens and crap. They're lazy. These are out there having to hunt. Oh, no, they're fast. <laughs> Doug nailed it. Doug nailed it. Nailed it. Because we had a eat, we had a woman here. Fantastic. We had a woman here like probably what like two months ago. It may have been a little bit longer than that. And she was like a homeless woman, and she went down to the water. We don't know if she was like bathing or whatever. And the gator got her like that. Mm -mm. Done. 
No, I saw that scene in Crocodile Dundee when she went to go <laughs> fill her water and he's like, huh, uh, no. And then the gator was on her like that on that canteen. I'm like, nope, not going near the water. Nope, not right, doing baby. it. That's nope. not a knife. This is a knife. I love that right. <laughs> <laughs> and you're supposed to run. Yeah, serpentine. Run, run serpentine. Back and forth, back and forth. That'll confuse them. I wouldn't uh uh I wouldn't even stick a stick a pinky toe up in Florida water. <laughs> Scared now. Ooh. Skin nightmare Ooh. fuel. <laughs> and the bad thing is, like mo you know, most people and most of the time it's true, gators live in, you know, like fresh water. But there's always one that's got to be a jerk and be completely different than everybody else. <laughs> so I was out at Hudson Beach one day at around nighttime. The sun was going down. There was a gator in the Gulf, like swimming itself right up through there. Like it wasn't bothering him at all. I was just like, where did you come from, sir? He didn't care. He did not care about that salt. So yeah. just be on the lookout if you're ever, you know, in an area oh. where there's an inlet inside the Gulf like that, just, mm -hmm. you know, be watching. You don't know. You don't know what these crazy animals are going to do. No. I'll stick with my cicadas that I hate. <laughs> At least they don't I'll have teeth. Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Her sister had a cougar in her backyard in Florida, and I don't mean an attractive older woman. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> love it jan i wasn't in her backyard stop it stop it that wasn't me like where do you get where did they just pop out like that so jen i heard texas has the first ever case of bird flu am i not surprised somebody probably thought they could barbecue it or something but i am not surprised look y'all there's a roadkill throw it on the barbecue no. <laughs> I know because everybody's so they're like, here, birdie, birdie, and then it attacks you and gives you bird flu. No. <laughs> they probably thought isn't it, it the chickens? I thought the chickens had the bird flu. I don't know. I don't eat much chicken. Do y'all eat a lot of chicken? I really don't. Maybe <laughs> once every once or twice a month, maybe. Oh, you eat a lot of chicken, Gina? Yep. But that's okay. If they decide that all the chicken and the beef and everything, you know, we can't eat it anymore, I'm just going to eat seafood and I'll be perfectly okay with that because I want to see some kind of fish get the bird flu. Go ahead and try to tell me that happened. And you know it's you know it's going to be fresh and good anyway because you're in Florida, so it's going to taste right. Shrimp, shrimp in Florida and shrimp in Texas, I feel like it's two different, two separate things. <laughs> Like y'all red lobster, y'all red lobster be busted. <laughs> My well, yeah, it's like we don't have we don't have shrimp out no. here, so it's not like it's not quite the same. We do have a lot of seafood, but not. Oh, it's too cold for shrimp. They they uh, like the warm. They like the warm. So well, that's right. When all that food. breaks down. When society breaks down and we have no food left or whatever, y'all will find me down in the Keys with a fishing net just come on down just come on down and we'll you know i'll throw i'll make a nice fire out there we'll throw some fish on it it'll be great mm. just good. bring the rum so we can make hurricanes we'll be fine doug is gonna doug was gonna move in with <laughs> denise's mom because he likes chicken so much she's be cooking it i know <laughs> she must be an expert chicken cooker <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, Poppy. Fresh shrimp shrimp from Maine. It's huh. Ooh. I don't know. Poppy, I have never that seen is like one I've of my favorite shrimp. soups ever. Greek chicken lemon that chicken soup. Chicken lemon soup. Oh my good. gosh, it is so good. Man, I bet Poppy can throw down in the kitchen. I bet she can. Mm-hmm. Poppy, do you mm -hmm. put do you put orzo in yours? Now, see, I've got to get the recipe. 
Do you put orzo in yours? Because when we make it, we put orzo in ours. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Spiffy. Yes, yes. I can't say that word, but I know I know what it's called. How are you? I went to a Greek restaurant here, here and I asked him the name of it. He and she said it, and I went, God bless you. Now, what what was that again? I was like, I can't say that. No. See, I don't know if I can cook something that I can't pronounce. It is so delicious. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Oh, she uses rice most of the time. I've made it with rice before, but if I have orzo, I prefer it. Do you get the really like lemon lemon taste? taste? I would love to taste it, Poppy. Poppy, just come on down to Florida. Girl, just come on down here and make me a bunch of soup to go in the freezer. Oh. In fact, Does just come on. I live, close to, I live close to Tarpon Springs. We'll open up a restaurant. <laughs> Does it does it have a strong money. does it have a strong lemon taste or no? Mine does because I put a lot of lemon in it. I like the lemon, so I like mm. I like lemon too. I was wondering. Mm. Doug Doug is now gonna make chicken and real mashed potatoes. That's the only way to make them, Doug. If you were a box potato dude, I'd have to break up with you. <laughs> real potatoes is the way to go. Hi, Jana. Mm. Hi, Jana. <laughs> We're all hungry. We always end up talking about food. I love talking about food. We went from murder right to food. Hey, you never know. I, I, I need some of that soup now. I may have to make that tonight now because now she's got me thinking about it. And oh, it sounds so good. Oh, is it that easy to make? Like you could just whip it up if you don't have to like, it's not a prep thing. Oh, Chicken, you probably should lemons, prep it. That's the way water, I do it. soup. <laughs> oh. Well, I don't know. I never made it. I don't know. Mine ain't gonna be as good as Poppy's. I already know that, but it will do until I can get Poppy down here to make it for me. Plus all the other beautiful Greek food that I am desiring. Just say it. Oh, I bet she can cook it up. Ugh. I love Greek food. Oh my gosh, it is probably my favorite out there. I really? love everything Greek. Oh my gosh. Oh, we so don't have good. a good Greek place. We, I mean, we have a gyro or whatever euro euro however you say it we got one of those but i mean uh, I don't we like have a lot of greek restaurants because we're so close to tarpon springs so we have a lot of greek restaurants and several uh, of them are very very good but i love everything i've ever tried i love like i go in there and i have to wear stretchy pants so <laughs> <laughs> Giro. Giro. It, the, there is no G. It's a Y. Giro. Giro. Yeah, there's no there's no G. Yeah, we'll get, yeah, we can get the official from Poppy, but oh, there's no flaming G. Flaming cheese. What is that? I would love cheese. It has the word cheese in it. I would definitely love it. Let me Google you it. You would like everything. I'm telling you, you would love everything. Flaming cheese. All right, Linda. I'll be up there in October. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it, oh put it on my calendar. Y'all put it on my calendar. Tell me who wants supposed to be there. Oh, I want some of that. I want some of the flaming cheese. It looks really good. Do you like um, moussaka and pastizio? Yes. Yes. I am not a fan well, of moussaka. You can say you like fill in the blank. I don't like eggplant. And I'll be like, yes. <laughs> I have tried nothing at the Greek restaurants that I did not absolutely love. I mean, everything. The stuff grape Even, leaves? Yes, I love those. Is Ooh. it spicy? Oh. No. Well, you're no, spicy. No, no. Most of it's not. Yeah. No, not, it's not, not spicy. spicy. They're they're slimy. Oh. It's oh, just be a texture thing. Most Greek food has a lot of flavor to it. It's like a complex. Yeah, a lot, lot of a lot of and herbs in it, yes. but not spice. But not spice. Yes, DM. I eat octopus. 
Girl, I done told you if it comes out of the ocean, I eat it. I don't care what it is. If it was in the ocean, I will eat it. <laughs> we stay away from Greek restaurants. I have no I doubt, you Poppy. You I have no doubt in my mind. <laughs> cook much better than exactly. that. Oh, I'm sure. But that's like me. I don't go to Southern restaurants because I know their food's going to be trash compared to the way I cook it. But uh, Greek food, anything they make is going to be a hundred times better than the way I could do it. So <laughs> I've never had Indian food. Jan's talking about Indian. I've never had Indian. Oh food. yeah. Yeah. I like Indian food too. Not heavy on the curry though. I'm not, it's like little, little bit of curry, but not like heavy curry. No. And a copa to, oh my gosh. That stuff, it makes me just, mm -mm, mm -mm. too much spinach for me. I don't, I don't, know. I don't I like that spinach. much spinach. I love spinach. <laughs> and I love calamari. Well, I like it without the spinach. And calamari, oh. no, I will not eat. Oh. Why? I'm just going to go to Doug's. Me and Doug are going to have some cheesesteaks. Mm -mm. <laughs> cheese mm -mm. <laughs> no. Poppy, you make that from scratch. Bless your heart. I love you. <laughs> do you make your own phyllo dough i bet she oh, does that's that puppy bread right is it no no, no it's the it's the, the thin, thin it's the layer thin stuff yeah, yeah. but when you make it from scratch it's not it's not that thin but it's it's layered with like butter and stuff you like you fold and you fold and you fold and you fold and you fold mm -hmm. and you create all the layers so um, it's kind of like a baklava yeah. or no? DM, oh my gosh. Don't even talk about baklava. Y'all are killing me. Stop already. Oh. Denise I makes mean, toast. Good job, Denise. Hey, <laughs> Denise can make toast. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I make toast from scratch. Well, I buy the bread. And so you pay. Ah, you, go, you buy it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did that I with my great that. aunt once. One time I could still I can still remember how to how to do it, but it takes like all day because you got to keep putting it in the refrigerator. It's like you got to make it and put it in the refrigerator, take it out, roll it out, butter it up, fold it, fold it, fold it, put it back in the fridge, take it out again, roll it out. And if you're doing a top and a bottom, then you got to do two of them. It's a lot of work. Oh, is it worth it's it? It's worth every yeah. bit of it. Yes. And yes. It's absolutely. a lot of butter. Absolutely. Yes. That's what makes it good. <laughs> that makes absolutely. It good. <laughs> All right. I know well, hey, who, paying, who paying for a sale? <laughs> I'm going to have to know the green plate when we get done we now. Do Thanks a lot. No. <laughs> Oh, but we'll have we'll oh, have the sale the and then everybody can go have the most scrumptious dinner ever. I'm going and, to I guess and if you want it, if you want to door dash it to arrive right after the sale, you go for it because <laughs> you don't feel like cooking, but you want to try some of this yummy food we've been talking about. Door dash. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to get Poppy's food down here for dinner time. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'll you know, she can you. she can pack it in dry ice and ship it to you. I'll FaceTime you whenever I get to her house. It only take me a little over two hours. I can get there because That's the good. guys the guys down at the Pike Place Market for for people who are traveling, they have coolers and they have dry ice and they will pack it in there, and then send you know send you on your way so you can take it on a plane and stuff and it's like good for two two days so it's good for you to go back to your hotel you know like sleep overnight get to you know your your plane head home and and the seafood will still be fresh okay so poppy's um, nephew lives in ruskin which is not that far from me i can be there in less than two hours does he cook does he cook poppy? i don't know that's what dm asked Oh, for real, Mike. Mike, I'll make. I'm gonna make a box of mac and cheese. Don't get me started on mac and cheese. 
Okay, so just let us know if, you know, your nephew cooks and if he's single and um, he needs a, a cougar in his a life. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to come back. Um, he's 19. <laughs> Oops. Delete That's okay. I just, want him for, I just want him for his okay. food. That's all. <laughs> just for the food. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness Tell him uh, i will trade vintage for food and then he can just ship it to you poppy we'll work it out girl we'll work it out <laughs> okay we'll have a good barter system <laughs> all right well i am getting links in if you have not if you weren't with us this morning that's okay check now and make sure you are still subscribed to Jen and Gina's channels. Why you looking disappointed, girl? I know. I want a, I want a lobster now. <laughs> but Poppy, how serious are they? I mean, yeah. honestly, how long have they been together? <laughs> Wait, did she say how old he is? I can just be a second mom. It's fine. <laughs> right, Aunt Gina. That's exactly. Aunt Gina is on the way. Aunt Gina is on the way. <laughs> That's right. You can never have enough ants. Oh my That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got the links in. Everybody take a second and make sure you are still subscribed to both of their channels. And I am going to pull up Jen. And Jen, let everybody know... Um, what you've got going on for the rest of the week and okay. then i'll have you show your first two items all right so the rest of the week i have two sales tomorrow <laughs> i am doing a solo sale at 2 30 p.m central on my channel um i'm gonna have a lot of um um crafting stuff like um fabric and then i'm also gonna have a lot of little mini ties and some stuffed animal i've got like three or four bags i'm gonna try to just blow through just to get just to get them gone and everything's going to be like a dollar two dollars so come on <laughs> come on what do you got to lose come spend a come spend a little time with me tomorrow at 12 30 um and then at 5 30 tomorrow evening myself and roy with dust not included um are going to have our weekly sale um and that is at 5 30 p.m central uh we are on my channel this week um and then on friday is the twin sister sale with myself and my twin sister christine uh that sale is at 1 30 p.m central so join me join me if you can i'd appreciate it all right i brought a couple of bags so i'm gonna start with some bags uh too bad thomas is not here but doug's here <laughs> he can tell him all right the first bag is going to start at five dollars and it does have a little I'm, I'm thinking it's a print of a famous painting or something uh it does have a cm right here um on the side but i love the girl i thought she was gorgeous and this is like a thin canvasy um material but i like her little fairy and so here is the back right there and then on the inside there it is. There is no tag. I just loved the colors and I loved her, but there is no tag. So I will measure it for you. All right. Without the handles, it is 15 inches long by 12 inches wide. And then with the handles, it is 23 and a half, 23 and a half. So $5, if anybody is interested in this one. <laughs> Mike's eating Cheez-Its. <laughs> we made everybody hungry. <laughs> hey, I could do some Cheez-Its right now, too. I'll be fine with that. I know. You know what? Um, we picked up, what was it? I guess it was Saturday, because we were out running errands. We were so hungry, but we had dinner planned, so we were like, yeah, we just want a snack. So we stopped into a um, gas station, and I bought goldfish. I hadn't had a goldfish like in years. They were really good. I was like, why am I sleeping on this goldfish? Hi, Fuzzy Wuzzy. 
Good to see you, Fuzz. Hi, Fuzz. They are so good. I Have you had the little pretzel ones? The little pretzel goldfish? No. Oh, those are good. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. they're like they're like little fish shaped pretzels. <laughs> See, so I would probably cute. like that. I would probably like that better than the um the regular pretzels. The cheddar ones? Yeah. I'd probably love them. Hi, Fuzzy. <laughs> All right. And Papa, Poppy, and Jana are out and those were the three who were putting in offers. All right. And hi, Angie. And Hello. so we can count that down for Fuzz. All right. So going once. Going twice. And sold to Fuzzy Wuzzy for $10. Congratulations, Fuzz. It's coming to you. Hi, Doria. Good to see you. I said that was so wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. All right. My next bag is going to start at $5. Um, this is a more like silky material. There's no tag. So I'm not sure what it that, is. That, that's not a food. Chewing on his big pig. Don't do that. <laughs> you just food. cost it. You just cost yourself money. $50 down the drain. $50, down. $50 down. <laughs> All right, so I have this one. This is has a little more muted color on it, but I loved all the flowers. Um, and her hair is so pretty. It's kind of giving me a 20s vibe. Uh, but there's no initials on this one like the other one. It's going to start at five. Oh, thank you, Doria. So let me measure it. So this one, 15 inches long. 13 inches wide with the handles it's 24. so with the handles it's 24. and this one has um black handles and fuzz is in for five. Oh, thank you fuzzy wuzzy thank you she's like really looking at you she's pretty I like her. I like her. All right. If Fuzz is the only one interested, we can count it down for Fuzz. Hi, Bonnie. Uh, going once. Hi, Bonnie. Going twice. And sold to Fuzz for $5. Thank you so much, Fuzzy. It's coming to you. And those were my two. Oh, good, Tammy oh, Renee. I was worried about you. What? Did you go outside? Is the gator still there? <laughs> All right, Gina. Let, go ahead. Go ahead and leave when it's my turn. Uh -huh. <laughs> let everybody know where they can find you next and then go ahead and show your items. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Amy. <laughs> You can find me in Florida. That's where I stay. Um, but the next time I'll be online will be on uh, my channel tomorrow night at 9 p.m. So make sure you come pop in and say hello to me and just hang out for a few minutes. That's when I do my freshest vintage finds. Most of the time I picked it up that morning. So it don't get fresher than that. It's still got the layer of dust on it, y'all. So not that, you know, most stuff doesn't. That comes included if you want it for free. No extra charge at all because I'm here for you. So um, I ship from Florida. I was joking earlier, but I do ship from Florida. Use PayPal and Pirate Ship just like these ladies do. And I guess that's about it. If you have questions, put them in the chat, and I will probably answer 99.9% .9 of them. Who am I kidding? I'll answer <laughs> whether, whether she knows the answer or not. Yeah. I'll answer 100%. I, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. So, first up, I have this 1953 Esquire host book, handbook for hosts. Really cool old book. It's got some great graphics in here, and it is from 1953. Look at this guy in the front. He's cracking me up. Love him. <laughs> Love him. Um, 
But and there's some great stuff. What's your price going to be? Oh, I'm sorry, I forget that. Ten dollars. But it's got like in the contents. There's one whole part, the beginning of the book, that is recipes, like a cookbook, and then it tells you how to host and how to make drinks and games you can play and all this good stuff to be a good host when you invite people over. Coffee. The cup that cheers. Oh, there's a whole section on coffee. Oh, hold on. No. Hold on. This this book just got better. Yes, there's a whole section about coffee. It tells you the history behind coffee and everything. Oh my goodness. Oh look. Yeah, because they didn't have Keurigs back then, y'all. Drip coffee, glass maker coffee, old fashioned coffee pot, and a percolator coffee. It tells you how to make coffee. I was just going to ask if there was a percolator. Right there. Woohoo. And then, you know, all through the book, it tells you midnight snacks, which I'm not going to read that because I'm just going to be hungrier if I do. Because uh, it's the first thing on there is cheese fondue, and that's making me want to cry right now. Um, but to the back, this is really fun. Hi, Andrew. <clears throat> good to see you. I got two more, Doria. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. You didn't miss out on all of them. To the back, there's 365 excuses to have a party. So oh, it gives well, you an I excuse for every day of the year to have a party. That's pretty cool. So read one. What kind of read? Read one. What's one excuse? Because I'm going to use it. All right, it give me a. Time. Well, January 1st is Happy Hangover Day. All right, November 8th. November, November the 8th. Anniversary of the election of Gover Governor Lehman. <laughs> so, fantastic. What is August 15th? <laughs> that's, that's Sue's birthday. <laughs> August 15th is Napoleon's birthday. Oh my gosh, Sue and Napoleon have the same birthday? Who would have thought it? <laughs> wow. Who would have thought it? <laughs> Can I remember that November. for Friday? I don't know. November the 24th. Hold on, I'm getting there. Birthday of Zachary Taylor. Oh, hey. Okay. So, yeah, there is something for every day of the year that you can celebrate which is important i don't think we celebrate often enough y'all i think we need to have something every day of the year we can celebrate so if amy is the only one interested we will oh february 2nd i'll look that one up then we'll go february the second and that's groundhog so day we're gonna celebrate we are not celebrating that rat <laughs> what are we gonna do? Not, not when he gives us six more weeks of winter. <laughs> no. this is bad news every time. No. So I'm gonna uh, let um, go. Trisha count it down for us. All righty. So going once, <laughs> going twice. And of course, Denise's birthday would be the same as <laughs> so to Bonnie Phil. <laughs> that they couldn't come up with something else besides. They're like, oh, just, easy one, Groundhog Day. It just checks out, right? Hi, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> you know, all these things, all these things are checking out. <laughs> there is a master oh. plan. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's fun. That's a fun book. Mm -hmm. you're welcome amy thank you and so for my second item i have this really old really fun little boot it is uh ceramic or it may be porcelain i think it's actually porcelain but it was made in germany and let me see where i wrote it down on my paper do to do, do it's on here somewhere there's only 10 items why can i not see this Probably because I haven't slept in 72 hours. Uh, there it is. $3 start for the little German boot with the flowers on there. These are little hand-painted flowers. And there's an applied white rose right there on 
the toe, well, not really the toe, a little bit higher than the toe of the boot. And it looks like all the pedals are good. That one is not broken. That's the way that it's actually made laid on there. I didn't see any breaks in it at all. Just this cute little boot. Let's see how big the boot is. That's an itty bitty. It's, it's a little boot. It won't fit my foot. That's why I've got to get rid of it. Uh, let's see here. It is three inches long. And no, it's not. Yes, it is. Three inches long and a little under two inches tall. So just a cute well, little boot. Three. Mike, will this fit your foot? You know, if Denise was getting it, she just put it on her finger. I know. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So if there's no other interest, we won't drag it out on you. We will All let right. Trisha count down for us. Going once. Going twice. And <laughs> sold to Mike. Put it on your nose. Hi, Karen. <laughs> I'm not putting it on my nose, Denise. Hi, Karen. All right. As magical as you are, way. I'm not putting it on my nose. Fine. Thank you, Mike. Be that way. <laughs> I'm not a team player. <laughs> I have a four dollar start, and I have I don't know if I can do this or not. I have a set of four of these little miniature woven figurines oh that one's gonna be the hard one there we go so four dollars four figurines now two of them are the same i'm gonna start with those but you can see they are like woven like a little basket that's the back so here is the front and then the first the first two are the same but isn't that amazing i don't know how how do you have i mean i have small hands but my hands are not so tiny that i can actually make little woven hands right it's incredible i mean look how small these are <clears throat> how small I don't know where they're from Mexico I don't know so this guy's got a little something in his basket look at the even little woven shoes look how tiny they are I would Wait. literally make those two that are the same into earrings and then make him into a necklace. Oh, yeah. Like the little worry. Well, thing. then there's the the lady in the beautiful skirt. Look at that. A bouquet of flowers. She is so pretty. And I just love how they've woven her skirt. But she is just maximum, if I'm very generous, she's an inch and a half tall. Thank you, Linda. They are, they're so well done. But you could take these guys, yeah, and make little earrings out of them. Yeah. Good girl, We will count those down for Linda and all right, going once. 
going twice. And sold to Linda. Thank you. Congrats. I'm going to put them back in their little bag so they're nice and safe. All right. Next item I have, I'm not sure what you could use this for, but it's really cool. It's going to start at $5. And it's a tassel with a nice knot in it. It's got this pretty little medallion and a key. So a really cool piece. We got the key made out of, feels like brass. That kind of feels like brass also. And then a tassel. Now, I don't know if you could be really creative, put that on a necklace, put that on a key ring. That could be kind of cool. For the artsy and creative people. Thank you, Amy. Let's see. All together, this is about six inches long. But yes, let your creativity flow and find something really cool to do with this. But I really like this knot that they tied with the tassel. I am not that creative. I could not do a little knot that looks like a little ball. All right, but we will count that down for Amy. So going once. Oh, that would, it would be cool made into a sun catcher. Amy. Yes, yes, it oh. would. Going once, going twice. And sold to Amy. Thank you. Congrats, Amy. And if y'all only knew how many things I wanted to say and I stopped myself. It was the balls, right? No. That was it. That oh really? It was the knot? <laughs> I don't know. All right, five. I'm not gonna say it. I'm stopping myself. That's so good. <laughs> Tell me in the back room. All right, two more okay. bags. <laughs> uh, this one has two really pretty ladies on here. All dressed up. And they're florals. And it is double-sided. Going to start at $5 if you are interested in this one. I love the dresses. And look at the little head. The little head. Um, I want to, in my mind, I want to say brooches, but... <laughs> Dresses as well. They are gorgeous. All right. And this is kind of like a, a silky type material. It's very smooth. Very smooth. Um, 15 inches long, 13 inches wide. With the straps, it's 24. 24 inches. And this one has black straps on it. Right here. So $5 for this one. And this is just where it was folded. It is double-sided. Hey, Apple. Hi, Apple. Right there. And all right, if there's no interest in this one, we will pass. And then my next one is also $5. And it is kind of similar to the other one because it is a heavier, a heavier, um material but this one has a little girl on some roses so it's going to start at five dollars as well she is so precious little angel baby little fairy right here 
here is the back because it is double sided. So this one measures 14, no wait. Yeah, a little over 14 and a half inches long by 12 and a half inches wide with the straps. It's 23 inches long, <laughs> 23 inches long for this one. And it has like a cream color um, handles to it. And Jana is in at seven. Thank you. And Fuzz okay. is out. All right. All right. Well, we can count it down for Jana. 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 Every time. Going once. <laughs> Going twice. And sold to Jana for $7. Congratulations, Jana. It's coming to you. And thank you so much. And those were my two. Thank you, guys. All right. We are going to Gina. <laughs> Hi, okay, Peach. So next up, I'm Peach. I have an Osmoroid uh, pen and nibs. Jen, I will not remember that. The box is a little rough, just so you know. It's like, you know, who knows what happened to it? It's been around a while, but it's the fountain pen and it's got some nib. See, nib units. Nib. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Take a screenshot, Jen. Take a screenshot. I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. <laughs> Somehow you think that helps. So you do. Yeah, that doesn't I'm help. It does not at all. <laughs> oh, this at is going to start. I'm sorry. This is going to start at $8. And you get, oh, these are plastic, but it's got that marble effect on it. These are the vintage ones. So you get the pen. It already has a nib in it, as you see there. And it comes with more nibs. Everyone take a shot every time she says it. Nib. Bonus nibs. Bonus more nibs. So you get six nibs in all with the set. So pen and six nibs in the set. Now everybody's gonna put nib in the chat. Everybody, Everybody put nib in the chat. Nib. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody put it in the chat. Go ahead. <laughs> Susan put a bunch of bees. Nib. <laughs> nib. People are going to go, why is nib trending? Why? <laughs> I'm going to put that in every one of my videos now. It's going to I mean, I'm hashtags. I'm going to put hashtag nib in every one of them. It's going to be like a little Easter egg in there. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Because of some reseller. <laughs> reseller was having a nervous breakdown on YouTube. <laughs> Got stuck on nibs. Nib. <laughs> oh my god. All right. If there is no interest in my nib and the fan. Oh my gosh. That's like a lifetime <laughs> supply of nibs. I'm telling you. I bet you three nibs. We're not going to remember this tomorrow. No. Yeah. <laughs> and then next up, I have a really fun uh, Gobel porcelain set of uh, shakers. And they're these cute little puppies. One is bigger Aww. than the other, as you see. But they are stinking adorable. 
They are Goebel and they are marked Germany on the bottom with a very strange little Goebel stamp there. But the coloration on these reminds me of like Wade's because you got that black and that gray. Mr. Price. And, you know. Oh, Hurry. I'm sorry. Twelve dollars. Yep, find me. <laughs> I almost spit my water out. Yeah, it's it's not hurry. <laughs> I'm surprised. No. <laughs> I'm good to be here with my eyeballs open. So are. let's see here. Are. These are about two and a quarter inches wide and the height on these things are the biggest one the height is about a little under two and a quarter uh this one does have its stopper but it's gotten up inside of him some way i i don't know what happened but it's in there it's a little cork stopper and this one's gonna got it in place who knows they could go up in there too we don't know Those are so cute. But these are really nice ones. They don't have any damage. They're in good shape. Really high glaze. And these go for around uh, 25 to $28 online. That's one of those one of those sets that, you know, are a little bit more than your standard. Because they're global. I just think they're precious. And I like that one dog is a little bit smaller than the other one. That's like a mom and baby. And I love his face because, look, he looks like he's up to something. This is the way my daughter's dog looks every day. <laughs> every day. I walk in, he's got this look, and I'm just like, what, what's, what's torn mm -hmm. up now? What has happened? Is the trash can turned over on the floor? Because I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> he doesn't just get in the trash can. He knocks the whole trash can over onto the floor. And this is not a light trash can. It's one of those that's got like the lid with, you know, the heavier metal with the lid on it. He ain't got no problem. He's strong. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, so let's good. count these down for Mike. Well, going once. Going twice. And sold to Mike. Thank you, Mike. You get the little dancing dogs. Dancing dogs. Hey. And that was my two. That was two? Yes. Because I had the nibs. Oh, the nibs. Oh, the nibs. <laughs> See? Told you we'd forget. <laughs> Told ya. <laughs> no way I'm going to forget the nibs. nibs. <laughs> I mean, oh, that was was before. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, my next first this round is going to start at eight dollars, and it is a metal. I don't know. It it seems metal, but I don't know how you get that image in there. But yeah, it seems maybe they pressed it. I don't know. But it's really cool. It's made to look old. It's not old, but it's made to look old. Uh, this measures eight and a half inches long by six inches. So it is a little bigger than my head. And of course, it's made to look like it has, you know, patina all over it. But she's pretty cool. And it's a beautiful color. That's your color. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yes, oxidation of, of oxidation of copper is my favorite color, just so everybody knows. <laughs> And then the back is also the same color. Again, it's just made to look, you know, old. But I think this is really neat and fun. Something you could hang outside. Something you could hang inside. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. 
Fuzzy's asking, is it Aztec, maybe? I don't know. I get more... Egyptian? Yeah, more like Egyptian or something like that off of it. But I have no idea. That's why I'm going to start saying. I'm just made what? to look old. Ah. <laughs> That'll work. So that I'm is $8. And it is eight and a half by six. And it does have this little cord it hangs on. And it's either... I don't know. It it seems like it is, I'm going to think, two pieces put together because there's almost like a little hollowness. Maybe slate? Slate? Maybe? I don't know. This part, I think, is pressed. Okay. But it's got a little more weight to it than just like tin. Um, so maybe some kind of a mixed metal. Mm. I don't think it's a tile. I think it's metal, but I think that there's a little hollowness in between, like this black, this piece is like attached to this piece because when you, yeah, it kind of feels, or kind of sounds like there's a hollow in there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with some kind of a metal. Nibwear. <laughs> Mike. Nibwear. It's nibwear. That's right. It could be slate. The back could be slate, but this, I think in order to form this, this would have to be pressed or molded or something to have that image onto it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just a really cool piece. It would be fun to invite an outdoor garden. Maybe if you had an outdoor mm -hmm. fountain, that could be really cool. Um, so that is eight. And then my next item is going to start the, the Nib Nut Society. <laughs> I think we all are at this point. Go, go to your NN meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I have a handbag. And this one is really cool because it is um, made with like different pieces of uh, kind of like tapestry fabric. And then you have this one, which looks kind of embroidered. Now, this is made by a company, but I really like the handmade kind of look to it. And there are some beads on here also. Does this side have beads? No, maybe the other side. This side has the beads. So here you can see that there's a bunch of beads sewn in. Some beads here, some more beads over here. And then it has um, some brass where the holes are for the straps. Uh, this is made by um, Bueno. That's good, literally. And it has, this part has a zipper closure. So that closes up. And then the two sides here are then open. That side and that side are open. And here is the middle section, which has an inner zip pocket right there. And yeah, and then these go all the way down and they are lined in nylon. So they're really easy to clean. It has a flat bottom to it. Two straps. And then, yeah, so this side, kind of your side that would go up against your body, no beads on this side, but this side does have a bunch of sparkly beads. And this is uh, 10 inches up and down, 10, in 10 and a half inches across, 
and then a four inch width at the bottom. I had to go calm yeah. the dogs down. They heard you knocking on that plaque thing and they thought somebody was at the door. No. <laughs> <laughs> All oh right, so that no, is 10 for the handbag. All right, so we're passing on those, and we're going back to Jen. All right, guys, so my next time, there's going to be a flat, a flat, uh, well, no, I did, I did, yeah, because I these are left over from yesterday's friends selling with friends sale. Uh, so they are Halloween themed. They are like... Um, they remind me of the, um, and I couldn't remember the name of them yesterday. What are those things, Gina, that, uh, oh, uh, nib. yeah, Mike in for 10. Nib. <laughs> Not a nib. <laughs> Funko Pops. <laughs> Funko Pops, like two children. Yeah, that's not a, <laughs> not a nib. That's not a nib. Not a nib. Thank you, Mike. I had, I had some of these left over, so I thought I'd bring them, but they're little um and they are from um scary movies so this one's jigsaw from saw right here he is on a little stand but you could take him off the stand i thought these would be really cute just to put on a display shelf see he has a little hole in his foot so you could attach him you can attach him to this so flat five dollars for jigsaw num or letter w Five dollars, letter W. And they are pretty detailed. Right there. Yeah, from Saw. It's Jigsaw. And to be honest, I actually had to Google this one. <laughs> I was like, I know him. I know him. What in the world is his name? <laughs> So I had to Google it, but it's Jigsaw from Saw. And these measure, I think it was two, yeah, two and a quarter inches tall. And on the base, it's an inch and a half. So $5 letter W if you are interested in this. And then the next one is Scream. It's the Scream dude. Ah! Oh. Ah! They're pretty detailed, actually, <laughs> to be honest. They are pretty detailed. <laughs> right here. Turn him around. So, Scream Dude. I don't think he had a real name, did he? I don't think he did. I don't think he had a real name. If he did, I don't George. remember it. George. It's, jo it's Nib. It's Nib the Scream, scream Dude. <laughs> $5 letter R. Five dollars, letter R, if you are interested in him. And those were my two. Yeah, the Saw movies. I mean, there's like 44 of them, I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> there's a lot of them. <laughs> the franchise that will not stop, no matter how much everybody wants it to. <laughs> it just keeps going and going. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. It's like the first two, you maybe know. three are good, and they just keep doing it. I know. I know. It's like we're tired of it, y'all. We're tired. Okay. So next up, I have this really nice decor piece. It's not super, super old, but it's not new either. And it's just a decor piece. But it's got this silver tone, like coral piece on the top with a, kind of an antique-looking um metal piece right here and it comes down into this kind of smoky blue diamond point with a metal base on it just a pretty decor piece and it is going to be a 12 dollars start i remembered before trisha had to tell me this time i'm so proud of myself i'm so proud y'all well luckily the mail carrier isn't here so you can take your time <laughs> So it's about 15 inches tall. Really pretty to put like, you know, just on a mantelpiece on a shelf or something with some other seashells and things or in your bathroom. It's a pretty decor piece. Yeah, it's pretty. Does it open up? No, it's just decor. 
It's just one of those things that just sit there and look cute. Oh, like me. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> it does have nice nibs, Mike. You're right. Look at all those nibs on there. Thank you, Jana. Everything's going to be happy. That's an artist. I'll write that down. Lots and lots of nibs. You could sit and count them if you wanted to. But if there is no interest on this piece, we will pass on it. And then my second piece, <coughs> excuse me. Nope. Never forgetting the nibs. Ever. Like toggery. Until tomorrow. <laughs> and elf and toggery. We'll never forget that. Nope. True. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've got a short term memory. So, <laughs> so next up, I have a beautiful, uh, I think this is the last piece I have of the Brighton. And it is a multi strand necklace. And it's got a bunch of nibs on it. See there? Look at all those nibs. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. And it's going to be a sixteen dollar start. One, two, three, four, Did five you think he with nibs because nubbins were already taken. He wanted oh. to be a nubbin, and they're like, "No, we already have nubbins." Okay, we'll call it nibs. We'll call it nibs. Just. And the reason I like this one so much is because it's got so much fluidity to it. It moves around on your neck and you have all those strands and they've got these different beads that are stationary on there. And let me give you the drop on the shortest part so you'll have an idea how much room you have with this necklace. I'm going to set it up close to the top on the chain so you'll know if it would fit I don't you or know, not. Jan. <laughs> One moment, please. I don't know what the difference is between a nib and an oven. <laughs> I don't know who, who coined Three it. Three letters. First, but, but in, in my mind, thinking, let's letters. call it a nubbin. And they're like, no, we can't. It's They already <laughs> used it. <laughs> All right. So the shortest length of chain is eight and a half inch drop. That's 17 inches uh, for chain length. And the longest drop on it is about 10 and a quarter inches, maybe about 10 and a half. So that would make it 22, around 22 inches. No, 10 and a half times two, 21 inches. 21, yeah. Whoo. Math, math. Oh, no. It's you hard. noticed I stayed quiet. I was so quiet. Like, my brain was like, da, 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 da. So it kind of reminds me of that liquid silver a little bit. It's not made that way, but it does move with your body so much that it kind of hugs you. And I think that's really pretty. So this would be really, really nice. Wearing something black underneath it, wearing a simple white t-shirt with this, mm -hmm. maybe a little denim jacket or something to go with it or a little black, you know, sweater or something. Just a really pretty piece that catches the light. But if there's no interest, we will pass on this one. And that was my two. Oh, thanks, right. guys. So I have an amber glass tidbit tray. Whoa, it's a big one. It's a big one. You got you to gotta get your tidbits out for this one. But yeah, it's a beautiful one. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> we're, letting the, the, we're already letting the nibs free flow. We might as well let our tidbits too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's got a beautiful flower etched. And then the alternating panel has this kind of check 
pattern. And then you've got the flower again. Beautiful, nice, thick handle. You know, the one thing I didn't check, and sometimes these do have a glow to them. So let me check just to be on the safe side. Even sometimes the amber with these ones do, but I don't think this one does. Nope, not this particular one. But for your holiday entertaining and you want to have a nice little tray to put desserts or fruit on, these work great. They're so pretty. And it is 11 inches across. Comment of the day from Karen. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. So that one is $10 for the amber. All right. Now, my next piece is a very highly desirable milk glass piece, but it does have a couple of issues with it. So it's going to start off at, oh, Mike is in for the tidbit tray. That's pretty. Thank you, Mike. And we'll do the quick going once, going twice. And sold to Mike. Thank you. Four inches, Thomas. I can eyeball it. Gotta be. <laughs> Actually, that's probably a really good guess. Is it really? I think so. Oh my god, let's see. Uh you know, it's just short of five. So okay. you were you were pretty darn close. It's still in the four. It, yeah. It's still in the four oh, range. It's right. not five. Not five. <laughs> Uh, oh, this one's going to start at $15, but again, I'll show you. They're not, they're not necessarily huge condition issues, but it's one of these beautiful milk glass, I guess, vases with the handle. Um, but this does have a couple of pops. Ooh, can I find it? You got to like use your hand to find it. I know one is here and one is here. And I thought there was one here. All right. There might be another one I can't find. Now, I do also think that there was a little bit, a little nib. A little nib. <laughs> a little nib. I think there was one here. It's not a, a horribly rough edge, but I think there was one there. But overall, I don't think that distracts from the overall design, not having that there. But there are, let's see, there is a line here and there is a pop right here. And I know there's another pop. I saw it, I felt it, but now I can't find it. So there's a line, there's a pop. I know there's another pop in here somewhere. And we've got this. But the rest of this is in beautiful condition. So that's why this has a $15 start. But it's got that lovely, like, a splash of milk. Always reminds me, like, if you put a drop into milk mm -hmm. and it goes... Um, and it's big. So here's my head. This is a big piece. I don't know. I don't think that this one is a straw mark, but I don't know what it is. Almost like something just like hit it or something. I'm just, I'm not sure. So I'll show you the those. Only thing for sure, the only thing for sure is it's not a nib, a nub, or a pop. <laughs> it's something entirely different mike we don't know what it is though we're gonna have yeah to so there is there's that little dot there there's that little line and then i am sure 
there is another one. Oh, is that it back there? I think this is it. So right back here, we got another little bit. But these, without any flaw, they, they're, they're pricey. Thank you, Mike. So for one with a little bit of a flaw, maybe you want to hang on to it, use it as a placeholder for, you know, that time you can find the absolutely perfect one. But it is, oh gosh, about 11 and a half inches tall. And at its widest, it is about four and a half inches. But it is a beautiful piece. And yeah, without any flaws, these go for a lot. And Hi, hello, collector. collector. We've got Collector. Hi, and Leslie. hello, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Oh, and I'll show you the inside too. Yeah, I would use it as a base. Put some lilies in that or some tulips. Mm -hmm. That'd be so pretty. Yeah, something with a nice long stem. And Mike is at eight. Yeah, you know any color is going to look yeah. beautiful in here. That's the great thing about the white. And 22. And Leslie, I just want to make sure you knew that this has... This is probably a broken piece off. Again, it's a nice clean break. It looks good. It has the line right here, the little dot, and this one in the back. So I just want to make sure that you that you knew that. And um, thank you, Mike. Thank you. And we will count that down for collector at heart, which is Leslie. Oh, going once. Going twice. And sold to Collector at Heart. Thank you. Congrats, Leslie. I love the name change. Put a bouquet of Bix in there, right, Denise? <laughs> you might need you might need some like florist foam or something, like a good layer mm -hmm. of it to, to lift that up so you can really display the Bic pens nicely in it. <laughs> All right, I've got another one of the little mini scary movie folks. Um, this one uh, is going to be a flat five dollars, and I've got Freddy. <laughs> Who remember? One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Oh my god! Like <laughs> nailed it. Like they nailed this dude. <laughs> they nailed him. So here is the back. Of course, it is on a stand, but. You can take it right off the stand. Uh, so if you have a horror movie collector or someone that just loves Halloween, these would be fun. Just set them on a set them on your desk, set them mm -hmm. on a shelf, use them as part of your displays, leave them out all year round, you know, whatever. Uh, so if you're interested in this one, five dollars, letter P. Five dollars, letter P in Freddy. I would literally take those to the grocery store with me and put them behind like a can of pork and beans or something. So when people pick it up, it'd be sitting right there. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be hilarious. All right. The next one I have is another flat $5. Jason Voorhees. Oh, Jason. The man, the myth, the legend, right here. <laughs> he is right here. <laughs> and again, these these do come off, so you can display them. You can just, you know, give them <laughs> just like this, whatever. Uh, and so whenever I package them, the ones I sold yesterday that I packed, I just did them like this. I took them off the stand. 
<laughs> that <laughs> one, I have to say, I do not get upset when they release a new one of those yeah. movies. Right they, right. they are like, they're so over the top. They are hysterical. Especially I, I mean, the one, I think my favorite one is the 10th one they did. I think it's number 10 because he actually went to outer space. <laughs> it was like futuristic and they're like transporting him. And he, of course, they're in the space thing and he wakes up and it's like, oh, this is so good. This is so good. <laughs> Right, right, right. And then there's all these nan not not like it's a big spoiler alert. There's all this like nanotechnology and stuff, and there's like you know a medic ward and stuff. So he gets injured, or he's or he is injured, and they're transporting him. So all the little nanobots come in and they do their repairs and they do an upgrade on him, <laughs> and then they turn him loose. It's like, oh, this is so good. Whoever thought this one up is genius. Let's repair and upgrade him. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Oh my God. Put him in put him in my front yard. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, Karen, you want I will take that one and Freddie. Oh, Yay. thank you, Karen. I've got I have other ones that I showed before. I don't know if you saw them or not. Um, but Really oh, fun. the Halloween. You know, I haven't seen the last Halloween with uh with oh, Jamie really? Lee Curtis. Yeah, I don't I don't oh. I know I haven't seen like the last last last. <laughs> no, this is no really, really, this is the last. No, I haven't I haven't seen it. I know that's right on my list. <laughs> Amy said they repair his nibs and nubbins. That's they, right. they repair his nibs and well, That's I had right. I had two that I showed earlier, Karen. If you want these for your daughter too, I had um, the saw dude and scream dude. J I had jigsaw and scream dude. Your camera's you like, whoa! Those. These guys are just too much. I can't focus. <laughs> I I can't believe I couldn't remember his name. I've seen four hundred of them. You want the scream? All right, Karen. I'll write you down for that one. Thank you. Thank you. I like this. I like Scream too. I haven't seen the last one of that either. The most the new recent one, the, one. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen that one either. Did, uh, you know, speaking of either. another another show that they have, just Ghostbusters. Did you know Ghostbusters is coming out again? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that? Some of the yeah. original cast though. That so one I did. I did see the last one in that, and it's. I liked it, although the Harold Ramis thing was a little creepy. Yeah. I did not care for the one that was just an all-female cast. <laughs> I didn't that care. was weird. It, it was very weird. That was uh, fun. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited for the, I'm excited for the mm -hmm. next one. And then scene number 10 it explains the last one ending very well. Well, oh. well ten, that's the Jason is from the um, uh, Friday the 13th. And then Jamie Lee Curtis is Halloween. Is, it, is screen, yeah. Is, is from the Halloween series. Or Halloween, what? and then it's, what's her face? Courtney Cox is. Yeah, is Scream. Scream. Yeah. <laughs> But Jason is from um, from Friday the Thirteenth, the um, Crystal Lake mm -hmm. Camp Crystal Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and we're back to Gina. Since we're hey Gina, hey girl, hey. hi Nick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have anything related to that. I just wanted to say that. So anyway. Great. Call Nick Busters. <laughs> Coach Busters. Nick Busters. Da, 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 da. Okay. So, <laughs> I kind of want to make a shirt like that now for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. Nick Busters. So, <laughs> okay, stop. I'm trying to hold a piece of glass. Stop. Okay. I have a piece of tipping glass in blue with silver overlay it is a gorgeous piece of tiffin nice deep bowl it 
there's no chips or cracks or anything in it. There might be a slight bit of silver missing. Hold on. I think there was like one little tiny spot right here on the very edge. You can see that little bit of silver missing. So when you're looking at it like this, you can't see it. It's just on the edge right there. It's not a chip. It's just the silver overlay has gotten chipped off right there. So this will be a $30 start. Anybody that knows about Tiffin glass, Tiffin is very expensive glass. But I want to give y'all a shot at it before it goes to the bay. <laughs> before it takes a float on the bay. <laughs> so it's got these pretty leaves and grapes all the way around it. And I will give you a measurement. I like how it's kind of, it reminds me of like a large mayonnaise bowl or whipped cream bowl. Because it flutes out at the top so big. I like the shape. I like your shape. It's 10 <laughs> inches wide and three inches tall. This is the way I talk to my glass, y'all. <laughs> I talk to glass. I do. <laughs> it's like, ooh, I like your shape. And I like your color. And ooh, you got a little sparkle of silver on you as well. Mmm, you're just my type. <laughs> <laughs> from here see how it comes way flutes way out you can maybe you can see it from this side better it's just a beautiful piece and again that's one of those that if you collect glass this is a piece that you would hand down this is an investment piece it's been around a while but it's beautiful but if there's no interest, that's okay. We will pass on that one. And seeing everything through blue colored glasses now. And I'm going to set it right here. Because I don't want to break it. So. Oh, yeah, Buzz, that sounds good. No. <laughs> I do need sleep. I am. Girl, I am. Woo, I'm out there. That's okay. I'm going to make it. So next up, I have a um, nappy. I need a nappy. Next up, I have a nappy. Uh, it is going to be a $16 start. It's a Tressman and Voigt Limoges hand-painted nappy. Now, it does have one tiny little chip. Where is it? It's on here somewhere. It's to the left. Hold on, bear with me. <laughs> there it is. Oh, Lee, I couldn't even find it. Right there. Yeah, okay. See how it it kind of the goal doesn't go all the way around like they left skips in it for the design. And that's why I had trouble seeing it. It's right there. But it kind of blends in with the design, so you won't really see it. But anywho. Gorgeous hand painted piece with the gold. I'll show you the T and V on the back so you know I'm not a liar. Maybe I will. It's trying. Okay, so it doesn't like it. It says T and V right there. Limoges, France. And these are, yes, Mike, this is an antique. These are very old. So it's a little bit of its gold here and there on places that would get rubbed, like the high spots. You know what I'm saying? It's still a beautiful little piece. If that you want to start nice collecting. Candle. And I'm telling you guys right now, I'm watching the prices on the bay and for it. Nippon, Noritake, Limoges, all of those things that, you know, we bring to you, they're going up. I'm already seeing prices going up, like from a week ago. I'm not even playing with you. Go look it up yourself if you don't believe me. They're starting to go very high. So if you want to start collecting this stuff, now is the time to do it when you still get them at decent prices because 
this is, I guess, the new thing for people. But I think it's beautiful. Unfortunately, I'm mid-century, so this doesn't really go with my stuff, but I have a soft spot for it because my grandmother collected this kind of stuff, so it reminds me of it. Yeah, Noritake, Nippon, you know, Limoges, of course, all of those big names. They're getting very, very collectible. But if there's no interest, that's okay. We will pass on it. And that was my two. Thanks, everyone. All right. Yeah, those are both great pieces. <coughs> I have got a stone frog for any of the stone lovers or frog lovers. This is a really cute one, a little gray. He is carved. He got big eyes. He is a cute little frog. There's the underside. Not a stoneologist, not sure what stone this is. But I'll hold it back here so you can see size-wise how big he is. And he is about two and a half inches long. And about an inch and a quarter wide. But really nicely carved. Nice stripes in his, in you know, natural formation of the rock. And that is seven dollars for the little stone frog. But we will bring him back for the speed round. Oh, wait, does she like those two? I thought it was the geodes. Denise, stone. <laughs> it's just in case. Just, we'll cover all the bases. <laughs> well, just in case there were any frog lovers out there, too. Uh, next up, I have got a bracelet. <laughs> Denise is like, leave me alone. You cost me money this morning. <laughs> I already bought. I'm good. <laughs> so what do you do with spoons or forks or anything with a handle? Well, look at this. You turn it into this really cool bracelet, magnetic closure. And in the center here, we've got a beautiful rose with some pink rhinestones and... And ah, and it's one of these ones that can pop off and you can put a different one on. Um, oh. oh, gosh, now I don't remember the name of the company that does all of those. As I don't see it written here. There is a company that does all of those little snaps. And for some reason, this one doesn't have it, the name on it. Um, but I think if you do like snap, Google snap jewelry, somebody will, somebody will come up, but yeah, so these are interchangeable. So all you need is one of these base units and then you can just buy all of the little snaps to go on it. And then you can change up your bracelet like daily. And then that just snaps right in place. And yeah, there's a company name. I think it's called Snap. I mean, it's Snap Jewelry, Snap Accents, Snap Jewelry. No, there's another. Oh. Snap. New terms? No. I had a bracelet like that before the, the, the thing snapped on. I don't know if I still have it or not. 
Who made it? I'll have to look at my jewelry. Oh, I do see. Yeah, I do see a lot under Snap, but there was a name. They were uh, Ginger Snap. That's it. Ginger, Ginger Snap was the one I was thinking of. Yeah, Ginger oh. Snap was the one I was thinking of. Um, but yeah, they have all different kinds of. And thank you, Gatita. Hello there. Hi, Gatita. Um, but yeah, you can just take mm -hmm. these off. And then you snap on another one, <laughs> snap nib. <laughs> <laughs> one <light. laughs> well, it does have a nib on the snap, so, you know, there does. you go. It's got a nib, and then you just snap it back in place. But, yeah, they were like a, a company that did home, home jewelry things. And then this one being magnetic, it's super easy to put on. And then it's got that really cool, um, uh, you know, silverware handle design, but it fits really nicely on your wrist. It's very comfortable <laughs> to ginger snap cookies, right? <laughs> and then, yeah, and then it just magnetic closure and you're good to go. <clears throat> And now we will count that down for now. I ginger snapped. <laughs> and uh, going once, going twice, and sold to Gatita. Thank you. All right, those were my two, and we're going back to Jen. Okay, I have a, my last little scary dude. Uh, gonna be a flat five dollars, and of course, can y'all y'all could probably guess who's next? Who do you think's next, Trisha? Out of all the big ones. Oh my gosh! I don't know what have we not done. I don't know. Mike Myers nailed it. <laughs> It is Michael Myers, Chains, aka Chainsaw Guy. <laughs> I was gonna oh, say no, he looks like Leatherface. Does he? Yeah, oh, he looks like he looks like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface guy. Oh, okay, then I was. And wrong. I don't, and I don't know what his name was other than Leatherface. Let's Google leather face yeah but that's who he looks because like, it looks like um yeah it looks like they're trying to to have him have a, a leather mask on yeah texas chainsaw massacre what was his name his first appeared did you know that matthew mcconaughey and renee zellweger were in a texas chainsaw massacre movie no no. Hang on, let me write down. Let talk it, about no. talk about young actors in Texas. <laughs> but was he all right, all right, all right? <laughs> what did he do? Just Leatherface is his name. All that's right. his name? All right, because that's, that's, that's all that was coming. Okay, so Leatherface. Nubbins <laughs> Sawyer is one of the characters' names. Are you serious, DM? It was meant to be. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. It uh, does not get again, any better. It doesn't. It does not. That is so true. Anyway, he comes uh, off his little stand. Hi, Gina Marie. Gina Marie. Hey, girl. And she lives in Texas. Yeah. All right. Flat $5 letter T. T as in Thomas. If you're interested as in, in Texas. One, <laughs> in Texas, that's true too. All right. Um, oh my gosh, Nub and Sawyer was the hitchhiker. It's full. It is man. Texas it's Chainsaw Massacre. It's full circle. circle. Who would have known? Who would have known it? I did it. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's great. <laughs> but okay, all right. Uh, so my last item is of the sale, we are on our last round, is going to start at $4. And I have a um, tea infuser right here, and it does come with a little tray. So here's the little silver tray, and it's shiny. 
is a shiny, shiny, um, but it has, it's a little house that says T on it. And so this opens up. Just like this. So you can put your tea, your tea bag, your loose leaf tea, whatever you would like in that. But I just like that it has a little, a little plate for it, like a little under plate. So $4 if anyone is interested, and I'll measure the house. It is one and a half inches long by a little a little less than one and a half inches tall, but you know, you're just going to put tea in it, put it in your coffee or put it in your, put it in the water, not coffee. So $4 if anyone is interested in the little house with the little underplate, just like that. But if there is no interest, we can pass on this. And those were my two. Thank All you guys. Right. And we'll go back to Gina. And I've lost my place. Last two items, and I can't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Man. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. I know where I am again. I figured it out. I know where I am. Good job. Thanks. I appreciate you. Okay. So uh, my next to last item will be a $25 start, and it is a Noritake uh, chestnut bowl. You don't have to put chestnuts in it. It's just got a chestnut hand painted in there is what I'm saying. If you want to put chestnuts in it, I'm sure you can. It's up to you. It's your world. <laughs> you put whatever you want to put in there. It's your world. Ooh. There is the bottom of it. Gorgeous condition. No chips, no cracks, nothing. Uh, very, very old. If this is not antique, it's on the brink of it. This one has been around for a while. So Noritake and Nippon both, Nippon Morimuta, both made this uh, design. But the other, the Nippon, is a little bit different. The chestnut inside is a little bit different. But if you had that, you could mix and match it. It's the same color scheme and everything. So it's beautiful. Nice. You know, it's kind of the fall colors, but it's got that little bit of pink in there, which is really nice. And we've got Mike in for 25. All right. And look at that. Somebody, do you know how hard it is to draw a chestnut, even if it's not inside of a curved bowl? Exactly. I mean, look at those lines. How did they get those lines halfway straight in there inside of a curved bowl? That was a tiny little one bristle brush. It was just a little nubbins of a brush. <laughs> and what's it's the mark on the chestnut. bottom? It is the cherry blossom mark. Oh, nice. Which again shows you it's an older piece. Mm -hmm. They only used it for a little while. Good, Mike. Yeah, that's a I beauty. like I like when people use their stuff. That's right, Amy. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> With your ginger snap. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all sitting there talking about those ginger snaps. And all I could think of is if I had some ginger snaps, I have some lemon curd in there. I'd be dipping it in that lemon curd. Have y'all ever had gingerbread with lemon curd? Oh my gosh. If you haven't, you need to try it. You need to try it. Put it on your bucket list. Try it. Delicious. Okay. All right. Well, but we are counting that down for Mike. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Mike. 
Nice one, Mike. Woohoo! Congrats, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Congratulations. That is a gorgeous piece. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Okay, I gotta let Lily out. And then I showed this this morning, but I want to show it again in case there's some people in here that it may, you know, it may tickle your fancy. I like to tickle people's fancy every once in a while. And it is the uh, Black Cat Teapot. It is a redware. As you see, the little feet right there. Um, bear with me for one moment because it's on the other page. I've got to turn my notebook over. I didn't have it written down this time. I want to start at the same price. So I don't, you know, mess anybody up. Where were you? Y'all probably remember it, and I don't remember it. Hmm. How do I not have it written down? I do not I remember it. Yet. I'm trying Hold to remember. On. I know I got it. Hmm. I just can't read, y'all. I just can't read. Oh, wait. That was from the early morning sale. The mid, yeah, you it want is, the mid morning sale. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I, got, I had too many sales today. This is my third, y'all. Bear with me. Hi, Ronnie. It was. Susan, you're absolutely right. Thank you so much. It was twenty five dollars. Twenty five. Okay, Linda, you were close. You were very it close. Is the, it is the Shafford uh, teapot with the beautiful black cat on it. Gorgeous glaze on there. Little three feet on the bottom. No damage whatsoever. The only thing I can see wrong with it is it's missing a tiny bit of its cold paint on its little bow on its neck right there otherwise it is fantastic love the bell handle and love that it doesn't just curve it's got like some shape to it i like your shape yes i did not know that joe had a side job as a, a cat model for teapots either exactly <laughs> here he's he's been having you buy his food and everything this whole time and he could have been buying your food You need to have a discussion with him. You need to have a strongly worded conversation, Tricia. <laughs> I know he so probably it, has a, a portfolio and everything, investing heavily. And <laughs> I know it's nothing seven about and that. Half inches tall. And from spout to, well, there's not a handle on the side because it's on the top. So from spout to side of the teapot is about seven and a half inches. So beautiful piece would be fantastic. You know, if you just collect this type of stuff, if you collect redware, if you like cats or for Halloween, this will be a great piece for Halloween. Definitely. But if there's no interest, we will pass on that piece. And that was my two. Thank you guys. Okay, okay, hold on. I got to measure the feet. I got to measure the feet for Thomas. Oh, and by the way, it does have the, the nib in there to keep the top from falling out when you're pouring. It does have the nibs and nubbins in there. So just wanted you to know that. There's got to be a nib on everything today. <laughs> so the foot is a quarter of an inch across, Thomas. There you go. And that was my tip. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have technically a Christmas ornament, <coughs> but this is a good one for all the dog lovers out there. Um, I don't see anywhere where this is marked, but I did look this up and you guys are going to get a fantastic price on this one at $10.00. This is a Patience Brewster Department 56 Crinkles. And it's a Labrador ornament. Is that ringing? 
Does it really no, ring? It oh. doesn't. <laughs> ring. It could. You see, it could ring. But no, it doesn't. Oh. But the dang the dangler does move around. Yeah. It does move around in there. Um, but yeah, if you wanna if you wanna look up Patience Brewster Department 56. Um, you guys are getting a fantastic deal with this one. And so it's a little puppy and he's got like a little ornament and like a little bone in his stocking. I like his little shoes. <laughs> and then, yeah, he's got a little, little something hanging from his tail. And he's got a little, um, I don't know what you call that, a little thing around his neck, Collar? whatever that's called. Collar. There you go. Good. <laughs> he's got little boots on, little elf boots. And let's see, from his tail to his nose, he's about four and a half inches and from the top of the bell to his feet, he's about five inches. And he is $10. All right. We will pass on him. But I'm telling you, you look up Patience Brewster. And you let me know. Um, all right. My next item is in really good shape, except for just a little bit of paint loss, because I have a feeling this was somebody's favorite um, teacup, and they used it a lot and washed it a lot. So this is by Ainsley. And Ainsley is a very, very high quality uh, bone china company out of England. Right around the rim, there is gold paint loss. There should be a little bit of gold just like on the saucer. But there is a little bit of paint loss. But it is this beautiful clover design. And it's got that nice swirl in it. And that one also marked Ainsley Bone China. So a little bit of paint loss in the handle, a little bit of paint loss around the rim. Ainsley built these things, though, to last a long time. So, yeah, it is no wonder that this is still around, even with a little paint loss, little bonus clovers on the inside. And so that is $14 for the teacup and saucer. All right. Well, that is the last item of the sale. And we are now going to do the speed round. So thank you everyone for hanging out with us today. We appreciate it. If you see something and you are in the chat, shout it out. We will see you. We'll hook you up. Uh, but if you're watching on the replay or um, you think about it a little later tonight, feel free to send us an email or leave a comment down below if you would like to claim an item. And we are going to start with Jen. All right. So my item's still available. I had the one bag left and it has the double ladies on it. And I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Alphanese? Mucha <laughs> was the artist, apparently. Uh, but I do have this bag. It is a double-sided. This was $5, letter M. $5, letter M. I had Jigsaw right here. Little figurine. Great just as a shelf sitter. So cute. $5, letter W. 
five dollars letter w i had leather face right here right there it is leather face he was five dollars letter t five dollars letter t and mike is claiming m thank you mike it is coming to you uh and then i had the little house uh tea diffuser right here it has a little little tray that goes with it the roof does open up so you could put your loose leaf tea in there uh this was four dollars letter q four dollars letter q and those were my items all Thank you, right Bill. And Leslie, the uh, the Buena handbag was claimed already uh, during the sale. Um, and we are going to Gina. All right. So I had the beautiful blue tiffin bowl with silver overlay, 10 inches across. It was $30 number one, $30 number one. I'm trying to drop stuff now and then i had the fantastic italic pen set with nibs in the box which we oh my gosh nibs, nibs in the box it doesn't get any better yeah, than nibs in the box it doesn't it really doesn't <laughs> and it was eight dollars number two whoops i put down eight dollars number two for that one and then I had the Brighton uh, multi-strand necklace. Put it on here so you can kind of see it, hopefully better than me holding it. The Brighton multi-strand necklace. And it was $16 number six. $16 number six for that one. And then I had the little uh, Tres, uh, Tressman and Vought um, Limoges, antique Limoges nappy. It did have one little chip in it up here at the side right there. And it was $16 number nine, $16 number nine. And then I had the decor piece with the silver tone looking core at the top and the glass blue body with the metal base and this piece was $12 number 11 $12 number 11 for that one and then finally I had the teapot that you saw a little while ago and it was $25 for the cat teapot uh, number 12 that was so cute and that was my items all right and i have <coughs> still can't quite figure out what this is made out of if it i put my magnet on it and it didn't stick mm -hmm. so i'm wondering if it's just two composite pieces put together it could be made to look like it has a patina uh, this is eight and a half inches by six inches, and it is eight dollars number three. So it is about that big. Uh, the frog, stone frog, two and a half inches long. And thank you, Poppy. Congrats, Poppy. You can see a bit of purple underneath. I don't see as much purple on top, but there is like a little bit of purple in the gray stone. Uh, the frog is $7, number seven, two and a half inches long. And then I have the Ainsley teacup. I just showed that a little bit of gold loss around the rim. And that was $14, number 10, for the teacup. All right, so let's get everybody back up. And Jen, what do you have coming up today? Uh, today, not today. Nothing. <laughs> Packing and invoicing tonight. 
<laughs> That's what I got going on. Thank you, uh, uh, But tomorrow, which I'm sure that's what Trisha meant, tomorrow, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have a solo sale at 12.30 p.m. Central. Uh, that one will be on my channel. Um, I'm going to be bringing some um, fabric stuff, uh, some little tie beanies, uh, a, mi a very mixed match. I have three boxes of stuff. I'm going to try to go through all three of those boxes <laughs> uh, for that solo sale. And then uh, that evening, Thursday evening, uh, I have the Spin Your Thursday with Roy and Jen sale. Roy is with Dust Not Included. That sale is at 5.30 p.m. Central. We alternate channels every single week. And uh, this week we're on my channel. And then on Friday, it is the twin sister sale uh, with myself and my twin sister, Christine, at 1.30 p.m. Central on my channel. All right. And Gina, what do you have going on? So I'm going to go take a nap now, I hope. We'll see. <laughs> we'll hope, see how that turns out. I, I, I'm sure you will. <laughs> Fingers crossed, y'all. Fingers crossed. So um, tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern, I will be back on my channel for my fresh vintage finds that I do every Thursday night, which is my freshest vintage that I have sourced and picked for all of you guys. So hopefully you guys can come on over, say hello, hang out for a little while and, you know, make fun of me because that's what I do. I make fun of me. So come have a laugh. I don't take anything too seriously. It's a good time. And I'll poke at Jen if she's in there because that's what yeah. I do. It's, it's <laughs> thank DM, you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, DM, for putting in all the links and everything that you do. Appreciate you, DM. And I will be back tomorrow and Friday morning at 1130 Eastern for my lunchtime sales. Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern for the Sue Spezio Show with Aaron Proctor. And Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern for my late night sale with Denise's Magical Emporium and Kim from Oh My Vintage. Um, but thank you, thank you, everyone, so much for joining us. Thank you, Gina for joining hey, us Gina. today. Oh, what a trooper to make it through all of her sales. Heck yeah. Maybe I'll go, I may go do a pop-up now. I don't know. <laughs> Girl, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep because you're going to be up all night packing anyway. <laughs> That's true. Take a nap. That's very <laughs> Hey, I was oh. listing on eBay in between the two sales. It was like, I can't sleep. I'm going to list on eBay. So I went on there and started listing. Girl. Take a nap. <laughs> and I was going to text you and I was afraid to text you. I was like, yep, I'm, my luck. I'm gonna, she's going to close her eyes for two seconds. I'm going to test her. <sighs> no, I was, I was listening on eBay because, you know, that's what I do. I mean, well, All right. Well, we'll check in with Gina later while she continues her no sleep for five straight days. Seriously? Five days? No. Oh, it will be if she doesn't, be. If she doesn't stop and get some sleep. I say this will be. What is today? Wednesday? Yeah. yeah all day. <laughs> so this is if I sleep tonight, it would have been three nights I haven't slept. If I doubt this will be my fourth night that I haven't slept. Girl, so, don't put that in the universe. Let's see where it goes, y'all. No. I mean, you got to crash at some point. <laughs> no, because the headline is going to be sleepless woman in Florida. And everybody's going to go, oh, there we go. That woman in Florida again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. Well, it's right not here. like I want to but without sleep, y'all, I want to believe me. I'm dying to get sleep. She's like, it's, it's just, not like I want to do this. My body won't let me. I'm not intentionally staying up. Believe me. Is it is it your body or is it your mind? Like you can't shut your brain off. Which is it? No, is it's it my body. Well, um, it could be both. But it's like every time I go to lay down and I, you know, feel like I'm about to drift off to sleep my body just racks itself like i twitch and i wake up and then i'll twitch again and it's just all night long so i find
I just oh. get up. It's like there's no need for me to lay here and be miserable, so I just get up. So it's like restless leg syndrome, except your entire body doing it. Entire so body, I don't know yeah. what's going on. I should be in a padded room somewhere, probably. But other than that, <laughs> if it helps, you I know. <laughs> hey, oh you never know. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, everybody, send well wishes to Gina. Send send all the sandmen that you can find over to Gina's house so she can get some sleep. All the sheep. <laughs> All the sheep. That's right. All, all the sand sheep. men, all the sheep. Every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, <laughs> Bye everyone.